31 days to not being a girlfriend. If you want to be a wife, we are on day number 23. Day number 23, I know that God likes me. I know, day number 23, that God likes me. So there's a difference between love and likes. And how many of y'all know? God likes you. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married Too. My name is Janice. I've missed it, you guys. I have a taped all week. It's Tuesday. But anyways, I miss you, girl. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for those of you ladies who have registered, and gentlemen, thank you, registered for my mentoring group, uh, Janice Hilton Mentoring, and you will get this ebook for free if you register. Okay. But if you just want the ebook, email me and I'll make sure you get a copy. And after January, that's the girl. The prices are going up. Okay. So thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for love and support my book. In Christ I am. This section of the the devotional for this week, you need this book because it tells you about your identity in Christ. And a lot of people don't know who they are. A lot of ladies is why you sell for less than 23 types of guys available. You need to get this book, girl. So you can know about these different types of guys and the naked wife. Get it, get it, get it. And thank you for your love and support on my Ready to Love videos. I am also reviewing Bell Collectives. I need some more views on that. I know it's new. I need y'all to, to comment on that video. And, um, and what? Because those ladies, the three married ladies are all naked wives. All of them. All three of them. And Antoinette is divorced. Naked wife. So I need you guys to watch and let me know what you think. I love you and adore you. 31 days to not being a girlfriend. Please be sure to subscribe. Thumbs this up. Day number 18. I know that God loves me. How many of y'all know that you know that you know that God loves you? You know that you know. Day number 18. I know that God loves me. Be sure to watch this series. I am doing 31 days, girls. 31 days. I know that God loves me. Day number 18, day number 19. I know that God created me for a purpose. Not to be a baby mama, shack up, have babies out of wedlock, all this stuff. Be a, a piece of meat in the toilet. Uh-uh. Day number 20. I know that God chose me in Christ. How many of y'all know if you're in Christ, you're sitting on God the Father on the right hand? In Christ. Day number 21, I am wonderfully made. Day number 21, I am wonderfully made in the image of God. How many of y'all know? Y'all made in God's image. If you knew that, you would not be doing a lot of this stuff you do with your body. Dark skin girls, you are made in the image of God. My daughter, beautiful. Stop trying to lighten your skin. All of this bull crap we do that they lie to us, that you're not good enough. You got to be light to be right. Uh-uh. God, people are a beautiful flower garden. Every time you see a flower garden, think about God's people. That's how God created. Can you imagine if all the flowers were pink? Would be boring, wouldn't it? But you had pink and red and purples and yellows and mauves and burgundy. By the way, I am wearing my burgundy. I'm channeling Michelle Obama. Okay, this is my favorite color. I have it in my den. I cannot wait to get in my den so y'all can see my purple, my burgundy strip. My den has nine windows around. Up top, it has a little strip in it's burgundy. Day number 21. Uh, day number 22. I am the apple of God's eyes, baby. Okay, y'all women out here. Giving away yourself for, tr for cheap, treating yourself like crap. You need to know that you are the apple of God's eyes. Watch my video on that. And day number 23. I know that God likes me. How many of y'all know that God likes you? See, God loves you. It's different when you love somebody, but it's it's a different when you... Um,
that that somebody likes you. We used to say this in the church. I love you, but I don't like you. And people used to say, that's fake. How can you love somebody and not like them? I definitely understand. There are some people, I love them, but I don't necessarily like them. Because when you like somebody, you want to be around them all the time. For example, my girl, my sister, Sandy. Okay, my girl, girl. Love me some Sandy. I like Sandy and I love her. I'm going to Walmart. She moved up here by me. I'm going to Walmart. Girl, I'm going to Walmart. You want to go to Walmart? Girl, I'm going to Livingston. You want to go? Let me pick you up. I like her. I love being around her. I pick her up for work. I drop her off. We talk a lot on the phone. You know, when she's one of the only person that I talk to. <laughs> that she calls and I pick up the phone. Everybody else, please text me, okay? I'm busy. <laughs> but that's when you like somebody and you want to be around them all the time. And that's another thing in dating for marriage, ladies. Make sure you like them. I like my husband. I like him. Not only do I love him, but I like him. I like being around him. I like sitting on the couch with him while he's working and I'm reading. I just like it. Okay, the only thing I don't like is when he comes in the bathroom. I don't like that. Today I was taking my shower and he comes in the bathroom. And I'm like, what? I'm like, because this is what my 1 15 20 minutes alone by myself. Okay, <laughs> from the book In Christ I Am, Matthew 17 1 to 3. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John. Uh, and his brother led them up on a mount on a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them his face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as light and behold Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with him the topic topics of of love and light can be something hard to explain i think it is fair to say that we all want to be light uh, we want to hang around our friends that we like and who like us. We know that God loves us, but do you know if God likes you? The above mentioned verse talked about how Jesus took three of his disciples up uh, to what is called the Mount of Transfigurations. Their names were Peter, James, and John. Some believe that they were Jesus's favorite disciples. Others refer to them as Jesus' inner circle. It is clear that Jesus liked Peter, James, and John because he loved spending time with them. In the same way, God loves it uh, when you take time out of your day to spend it with him. So how much time, ladies, do you take out of your day to spend with God? Because you like him. So you spend time with him because you like him. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> this is one way of showing him that you love him, but also that you like him. Better still, I want you to know that God likes you. God likes you. He likes to spend time with you, and he likes it when you sing songs to him. He likes it when you pray to him and read his love letter to you, the Bible. Uh, as you go about your day, your everyday life, keep this phrase in mind. God likes me. He likes you. And he is sitting, and he is waiting, trying to spend time with you. My window's open. It's getting to snow. Um, he wants to spend time with you, but he can't force himself on you. You have to take time out of your very busy day and spend time with God. And I encourage people to get up early. I get up early in the morning and spend time with the Lord because I love him and I like him. But when I spend time in his presence, I am refreshed. He builds me up. He speaks to me. He gives me insight and revelation. Um, I can hear him clearer. I spend time loving on him, but he spends time loving on me, ladies. And when you spend time in God's presence, knowing that he likes you and he loves you, you will not allow men that you are dating to mistreat you. You will know when they like you and they really want to get to know you for you and not for the cookie or your money or for anything else. But if you don't spend time, in God's presence, learning what it feels like to be loved and to be liked. Guess what's going to happen? You will not be able to identify that in the guys that you're dating. You will keep on doing stuff and jumping over hoops and trying to do stuff to be stuff and do stuff and be stuff so that he can like you versus knowing that you are liked and you are loved 
And you don't need to allow anybody to mistreat you and mistreat you. I see women running men down that you know he don't like you, girl. Because if he did, he would want to spend time with you, treat you right, take you out, call you, spend time with you, text you. Uh-uh. He don't make no time for you. You're the one making all the time for him because you like him more than he likes you. Just like my video said with my eight lessons my father taught me, be sure to watch that. Never love a man more than he loves you. I got to go, girl. I love, remember my books on Amazon, two or three times the guys you might meet, In Christ I Am. The Naked Wife, my mentoring program is still open. Get the sale today, okay? It's going away very soon. This ebook is also available. Also on sale, email me and I'll make sure you get a copy. February 1st, it's not going to be on sale anymore. I love you. I adore you. Let me know how these lessons are, are helping you. Is it a good way to start your year off? Knowing your identity, uh, knowing that you're not a girlfriend, you're not going to spend time being a girlfriend. Don't waste time being a girlfriend, girl. You're a wife. I love you. Got to go. Bye. Bye. My Michelle Obama here. <laughs> and call her. Bye, girl. Got to go. Bye.